Why, yes, as a matter of fact, we did show you this just yesterday, and yes, we're doing it again right now because this is crazy. It is. Freezing iguanas falling from trees in Florida. They're not dead, not dead. just cold. <laughs> Certainly an interesting behavior during the cold snap in the south. But if you think about it, Delmarva is also home to certain tropical animals, if you will, animals that aren't native to our area, like alligators and flamingos at the Salisbury Zoo. Oh, glad you said they were at the zoo. Yeah. You had me scared there for a minute. So how do they stay warm? How do they act on cold winter days? Well, Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli is at the Salisbury Zoo to find out. Jimmy and Lisa, I come from up north, so I like to think I'm used to the cold. I know how to handle it. But these gator gals come from down south, so them not so much. So staff here at the zoo have a lot to do to make sure they stay warm, toasty, and happy. And we're going to find out more about that today with my friend Hannah Buchek, zookeeper. Hannah, how you doing? I'm doing good. A little chilly out this morning, so I have all my layers on staying warm. Good stuff. So tell me a little bit about how you keep these gals warm. So American alligators actually come from down south Texas all the way up to North Carolina. Down there, your nighttime temperatures don't normally get much below 40. So here in November, when it starts getting below 40 at night, we actually open our door for them from their outside exhibit into mm -hmm. this nice toasty indoor area. Yeah. And they walk right in. Once they go in, they stay there all the way until around April. So I noticed right now they're not moving. Do they just kind of, are they like dormant? What's their deal? Yeah, so during the winter months, their metabolism slows down because it's so much colder outside mm -hmm. and they are reptiles, which means they're cold blooded. Mm -hmm. So during the winter, they don't do much. Even during the summer, they're ambush predators, so they like to pretend to be a log. But in the winter, they're a log almost all the time. Wow. And how warm is that water that they're in? I'm not sure about the water itself, but the room is about 70 degrees. So then the water just kind of goes off that. We keep it real nice in there so that they can stay warm enough to keep all their functions moving, their blood circulation, etc. Awesome. So how often do you have to check on them? Like, what do you do to check to make sure everything's still okay? So every single morning and every single evening, we go into this building. We make sure it's warm in there. We make sure that they're still getting a light and dark cycle, just like the natural day. Um, and we look them over and make sure that everything's all right. We also have two cattle egrets in here, which are actually native to the area. So they can handle the temperatures this cold. Gotcha. But why move the gators and not them? Let's That's let them huge. be tropical too. They're also sure. more often found a little bit more south than us. And just, people are gonna wanna know, tell us a little bit about these gators. Well, you said one of them's in, their, in her 30s. Yeah, so we have two female alligators here at the zoo. We have Big, really original name. She's 38 <laughs> years old. And then we have Little, she's about 23. And besides that, kind of what else are people fascinated to learn about them? I love to tell people that they have these teeny tiny nerve bundles on the front of their snout where if you were to put them in a completely dark pool and drop one drop of water, because of those nerves, they can go exactly to that spot. No way. Yeah. That's so interesting. We were also talking a little bit about how these gals stay inside mm -hmm. and then you have kind of other animals like the flamingos who kind of do a little bit of both. Right? Yeah, so most of the animals at the zoo do have access between an inside warm holding and an mm -hmm. outside area. Our flamingos, for example, right now, I'm going to let them out a little bit later in the day when it's warmer out. Um, and then they have the option to either go swim around outside or if they want, they can even go back inside at will. I like that. They have options. Mm -hmm. And then coming up next, we're going to talk about the animal that just hangs out outside all the time. Right? Oh, yeah, the bison. All right, the bison. All right, we're going to find out about that up next. But for now, Jimmy and Lisa, I'll... Catch you later, Gators. In a while, <laughs> crocodile. Sorry. Beat me to it. <laughs> oh, hey. Get it? Hey. We're back here on Delmarva Life, hanging out at the Salisbury Zoo, finding out how the animals stay warm on cold winter days. These are the bison. This is uh, Ruby and Opal, right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm joined now by Kate Holloway, zookeeper. So tell us a little bit about how these guys stay warm, because obviously we were with the alligators. They were inside. These guys are outside. These guys are pretty well adapted to staying warm on their own. You know, they're from the, the plains in the Midwest, so they are used to being out in the cold. In the winter, they grow a really thick winter coat. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see it shed out in the spring, and they're actually able to kind of fluff their hairs up and trap some Ooh. extra air underneath that gives them an extra insulating layer. So they're pretty well set on their own with their fur. 
Awesome. That's so cool. It's, but you guys do have to do a little bit, right? We do. So we make sure that all of our animals, including these guys, have access to some sort of shelter that gives them a windbreak as well as protection from the rain and snow. Uh, especially with our grazers, we provide um, as much hay as they can eat throughout the day. Digestion is actually one of the main ways that animals stay warm in the winter. So having access to food wow. at all times really helps them keep their temps up. So what they're doing right now, eating, they're keeping warm. They sure are. That's amazing. And how old are they? They will turn two this year. No way. Yep, they're youngsters still, so got quite a bit of growing to do. And you've got a fun fact about them. <laughs> I do. So one of the interesting things about bison is that it's not actually the temperatures that trigger them to grow their winter coat. It's the length of the day. So in the fall, as the days start getting shorter, they start growing more hair. Even if we have a fairly mild fall, they'll be fully prepared for the winter. That's amazing. They're so cool. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> awesome.